to the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, the Japanese had been supplied information for years by a British lord. The Lord Sempel Peerage was created in 1489 for Sir John Sempel, who was the founder of the Castle Sempel Collegiate Church near Loch Winnock in Scotland. He was later killed at the Battle of Flodden in 1513. William Francis Forbes Sempel, the 19th Lord of Sempel, was born on September 24, 1893 at Craggy Bar Castle, Scotland. He was later educated at Eton College, and then he joined the Royal Flying Corps at the beginning of World War I. In February 1915, he was appointed as an experimental officer at the Central Flying School located near Uphaven, Wilshire. In uh, August 1915, he was appointed to instructional duties. Then at the end of 1915, his career in the Royal Flying Corps temporarily ended as he transferred to the Royal Naval Air Service, where he was originally in charge of workshops at Cranville. Um, then at the end of uh, 1916, he was promoted to squadron can commander and started 1917 in the Royal Naval Air Service in charge of the technology section based at Admiralty. And then on April 1918, the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Naval Air Service amalgamated into what is known as the Royal Air Force today. At the new organisation, Sempel received the rank of Colonel, again in charge of the technology section. Also in 1918, he visited the USA on a technology aviation mission. In late 1918, he was appointed to the Ministry of Munitions Aircraft Production Department. Then after the end of the uh, World War I, he retired from military service in 1919. In 1921, Sempel led a British technical mission to Japan to help the Imperial Japanese Navy to develop their air wing. We have to remember at this stage, uh, during World War I, the Japanese were actually uh, allied to the Western powers against Germany. This particular mission, there were 30 instructors and support staff who stayed around 18 months. Now, the training started at an air base located at Kasimagara, which was uh, north of Tokyo. Training was completed on several different aircraft that were brought to Japan, including the Avro 504K trainer, the Gloucester Sparrowhawk fighter, the Parnell Panther carrier reconnaissance aircraft, the short type 184 reconnaissance seaplane, the Blackburn Swift, the Sopwith Cuckoo both torpedo bombers, the Super Marine Channel, and the Flexto F5 flying boats. The Japanese pilots were trained in modern naval aviation tactics such as torpedo bombing flights and uh, carrier landings and takeoffs, while the technicians were shown the latest weapons and equipment. The simple mission brought with them the latest plans of the British aircraft carriers HMS Argus and HMS Hermes, which helped the Japanese with the development of their first purpose-built aircraft carrier, the Hosho. The HMS Argus was converted from an ocean liner that was under construction when World War I started. The Argus survived both world wars and was scrapped in 1946, while the HMS Hermes was a purpose-built aircraft carrier, the first in the world to be designed, but not the first in the world to be commissioned. She was sunk on, by the Japanese on April 9, 1942. The Hosho was the first commissioned ship that was designed and built as an aircraft carrier. The carrier survived World War II and was scrapped in 1946. The Sempel mission also won orders for 90 Gloucester Sparrowhawks. 50 aircraft were built by Gloucester in the UK, and while the remaining 40 were assembled in Japan. In 1925, Sempel led a group of foreign air officials to the Blackburn Aircraft Factory in the UK. The Japanese had previously been probing the company about aircraft development. On this particular visit, Sempel asked similar questions on the secretly developed Blackburn Iris. The Iris was a three-engine biplane flying boat that the uh, RAF used for long-range reconnaissance, which saw operational service until 1934, when they were replaced by the Blackburn Perth. Sempel had been communicating information to the Japanese naval attaché in London, known as a Captain Tairajiro Toyota, but military intelligence had been secretly keeping their communication under surveillance. In fact, they had found out that Sempel's servant was a na Japanese naval rating. In 1926, the British Foreign Office was advised by the military intelligence not to endorse his appointment as an aeronautical advisor to Greece. 
As a result of this, the Foreign Office called Saint Bell in for an interview to assess his loyalty to Britain. But what the interviewer could not reveal was that the British code breakers had broken Japanese codes and were well aware of his communications. On one trip to Brav, where the uh, Blackburn Aircraft Factory was located, Simpil had openly talked about the Blackburn Iris. The conversation had been reported as it had breached the Official Secrets Act. Simpil admitted that this had in fact happened. So at a meeting by the then Secretary of State of Foreign Affairs, it was decided that Simpil would not be prosecuted for two reasons. One, his father was aide-de-camp to King George V, and any trial would cause embarrassment. Two, the trial would reveal to the Japanese that the British had cracked the codes of their diplomatic service. From 1927 to 1930, he was president of the Royal Aeronautical Society, and on September 4, 1930, he set a new record by flying a de Havilland DH-80 Pussmouth seaplane from Brent Reservoir in London to Stockholm, Sweden in 12 hours. From 1932 to 1936, Sempel became the business and technical consultant to Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, where he re represented the company in Europe. In 1936, he broke another record by flying a BAC drone ultralight aircraft from Croydon Airport to uh, Berner, Berlin Tempelhof Airport in 11 hours. After the outbreak of war in Europe, Sempel was given a position in the Department of Air Material at the Admiralty. By June 1941, military intelligence intercepted messages between London, Mitsubishi and the headquarters of Prince Yamagata Aritomo, who was the Chief of Staff of the Imperial Japanese Army. These intercepted messages indicated Simpel was receiving payments from the Japanese. On further investigation, it was suspected that Simpel was passing on top secret information about the Royal Navy Fleet Air Arm. Again, the matter was passed on to the Attorney General, but prosecution was advised against. Instead, on September 5, 1941, he was given a strict warning by the Second Sea Lord. In August 1941, the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and the US President Franklin Roosevelt held a meeting on the battleship Prince of Wales, with one of the topics discussed was the military threat of the Japanese. Afterwards, communications between the Japanese Embassy in London and Tokyo had been intercepted, with transcripts of the meeting part of those intercepts. When those transcripts were shown to Winston Churchill, he confirmed that they were accurate stuff. A short time later, more transcripts of Churchill's personal agenda, including his inner circle, were intercepted between the Japanese Embassy in London to the Foreign Office in Tokyo. Churchill concluded only two people could be responsible, a Commander McGrath or Lord Sempil. After an investigation, the Admiralty told Sempil he must resign, but Sempil made an official protest in which Winston Churchill told the Admiralty to redeploy him elsewhere. He is eventually re uh, deployed to a post in northern Scotland, with the intelligence services being informed so they could monitor him. Six days after the attack on Pearl Harbour, Simpel's office was raided. The search revealed he was in possession of documents that should have been s s surrendered prior to his deployment to northern Scotland. Two days after the raid, he was found making phone calls to the Japanese embassy. Despite the evidence of treason in wartime, he was not placed under arrest or prosecuted. He permanently retired from public office after this. He died on December 30, 1965 and is buried at Leo Chell Kushni in Scotland. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and until next time.